Will Demi Lovato's new Disney series, 30 Rock Your World? And what's the scoop on the Teen Queen's other big upcoming projects? I'm Matt Mitovich, and we're up close with Demi Lovato. So I hope you can start off by helping me clean up a little bit of a mess I made a couple weeks ago when I was speaking to Selena Gomez. Yes. I kind of like started this rumor in the video that you guys were arch enemies or something or had the occasional spat, but then she corrected me and said that you are in fact best friends forever. Yes, definitely best friends. I was like, Selena, is there something I, you know, I should know? But you and Selena actually go at it in this uh, princess, what's it called? Princess Princess protection program. Yeah, in yes. that, uh, that TV movie coming up. We do go at it. Um, we like, we argue quite a, quite a bit in this movie, but I think it's just because our characters' lifestyles are so different. And um, you put a princess and a tomboy mm -hmm. and make them live together. Of course they're gonna butt heads. <laughs> Is there a premiere date for that yet? No, there is not. Um, I believe that it will come out this summer on Disney Channel, though. Sunny with a Chance, your new show that's premiering February 8th. Yes. It's been through some title changes, right? Yes. First it was like, welcome to Mollywood, welcome to Hollywood. It was like Sketchpad way in the beginning. Now it's Sunny with a Chance. And we're best describing it as like 30 Rock for the clear soul set? Yeah. <laughs> well, 30 Rock. Disneyfied, <laughs> as we like to call it. <laughs> yeah, it's a show about a show, and I play Sunny, who's this girl who gets to come to Hollywood and has the opportunity to be on her favorite comedy sketch show. So she's like totally ecstatic, and she's faced with a lot of obstacles um, as she's trying to adapt from a Midwestern Wisconsin. So she's lifestyle. like a simple girl thrown into this whole Hollywood machine right. all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, kind of like me. <laughs> And then there's like what a uh, rivalry with one of the shows across the lot. Her comedy show rivals with a very dramatic um, Mackenzie Falls set, so it's um, it's interesting to watch how things play out. Yeah, I saw some of the clips, and you kind of butt heads with the lead of Mackenzie Falls, mm -hmm. who just happens to be rather hunky. Yeah, who just happens to be rather hunky, and who just happens to know how to persuade my character very easily. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, he's a smooth talker, but she's smarter than that, yet I think that he's attracted to the way that she's smarter than him, too, at some point. So they, they definitely butt heads, but I think they like each other. You're in the Jonas Brothers 3D concert movie? Yes. Or like backstage hijinks during the movie? Um, not that I can remember, although a lot of stuff did go down on tour, so I don't really remember <laughs> if they caught any on tape or whatever. <laughs> and the Camp Rock too. what's the status report on that? We're all trying to find a time where we can all, you know... Y'all got so aside. busy since I know. Camp Rock 1. So it's crazy. We're looking at the end of this year. Hopefully. I don't know if you've heard through the grapevine my idea, but fat Camp Rock. <laughs> so everybody goes to a fat camp. <laughs> Just, what are you, you trying know, to say? No, no, no. But what are you trying to say? Then you do the whole thing where you pack on the pounds and, uh, <laughs> you know, then you lose it right after the movie. I hate, like, grilled cheese and fries for lunch, so I don't think that'll be a problem with the whole gaining. <laughs> What's going on with your music these days? My music is actually doing very well. We are about to re-release my album in a deluxe edition. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have, like, new songs on it, along with the old songs, but just newer pictures, like all these bonus features. It's going to be really cool okay. in February. And then also I recently sang This Is Me from Camp Rock in Spanish and I recorded a music video for it. When I saw you a couple weeks ago at the TCA Press Tour, I asked how nervous you were going to be about singing at the kids concert for the inauguration. How did that turn out for you? Did um, the nerves go away? or The nerves went away. Um, it was actually more moving when I got on stage. The fact that I was being able to make a few kids smile or scream, you know, is like, it made me feel really, really, really happy that I was able to give back for them because their families are sacrificing so much just for our country.